The Mink Coat Killer, The Lost Four by Jaron Benton. Jaron Benton is always dropping new music. In the meantime, he did drop off a short EP. This is four songs left off of Mink Coat Killer. How do we feel about it? Here's an honest opinion of The Lost Four by Jaron Benton. The Mink Coat Killer by Jaron Benton. Still a fire album time. Yes, it is. <laughs> it really is, man. Fire album cover. Just a little close up from yeah. a different angle. Yeah. How do you feel about the album artwork? It was great seeing again, man. Still a boss cover. So. Yeah, it's cool. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke coming out of the day. <laughs> I think that's just the thing for today, huh? Yeah. Uh, the flow of this project, man, it's just four songs that got left off of the or- original album. That's that's literally all it was, and I didn't want to do future, so. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> four songs left off the album, yeah. And you didn't want to do future? I didn't want to do future <laughs> at all. <laughs> Highlights, man. Uh, the era came on, and I was just like, this is what I'm talking about, man. Somebody played this for Uzi and, and Thug and, and all the skirt-wearing, <laughs> bag-toting people out here. That rap, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no disrespect to your fashion. <laughs> you going you in blame, today? You, hey, hey, let's just make this very clear. Uh, but the air came on and it was super hardcore. I was just like, yo, that is dope. Go came on, I thought that was super hot fire. I don't even know who Pounds is on Judge uh, Mathis, but I thought that was actually really solid. And crazy bitches had me laughing, man. Uh, I don't know what's up with people that like crazy girls. You know, if a girl's standing over you while you're sleeping with a knife and you wake up, you should leave. Yeah, I, I second that. Um, why wasn't Judge Mathis and Crazy Bitches on the album? I don't know. They needed to be on the album because those are my two strong highlights of this project. Judge Mathis, that first verse, he just went in. Uh, I thought that was crazy. Pounds delivered as well. Crazy Bitches was just funny. It was just straight up funny. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, some people like them crazy bitches like that. So for real, it's just like, come on, y'all, like chill out. But yeah, those are my two highlights. Uh, low lights, talking about activists, mm. bragging. I gotta be fair. That's it. Yeah, same here. All that stuff, just like yeah, all right, we get it. Final thoughts. Look, man, uh, Jaron Benton is nice. Like really nice straight beast of a rapper (laughs) completely underrated i wish more people would actually pay attention to his songs because if you listen you're going to like it it's not like we're just saying it's just because the dude is nice like he really has some dope music that you're just not hearing and i wish you would check it out check this project out jaron pinson got bars and rhymes for days no joke most definitely check this ep out because then you can go ahead and check out the full album which was really really nice and yeah man he got bars for days he'll make you laugh you know but i just really like his rhyme scheme because it's just really really clever and funny at the same time anytime somebody can keep you in tune like that it's dope final grade i'm going to give jaron benton a dash i have to be fair I, i've been taking a, a, a whole block down for everybody else that's been bragging about using drugs i gotta be fair across the board jaron benson was bragging about activists can't have it 2020 let's move on from that but the nigga can rap <laughs> he can rap all day rap circles around everybody same here dash you know i feel like these two tracks like judge Mathis, crazy bitch shouldn't been left off the album but I'm, I'm glad we got them now but yeah i thought this was a good sample of you know what you missed out from the album but if you haven't checked out the album go check it out